Week 2 of the Black Ops 6 beta is finally out here, and in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the top 3 best weapons that you need to be using right now. These weapons are going to help you get high kill games, easy nukes, increase your KD, and just go crazy. You guys will love. So if you guys are new and find this video help, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel with notes on, and let's get into it. Now, before we get into our class ups, I do kind of want to show you the best loadout that you want to be using. Now, for my secondary, I am using the GS45. I do think this is the best pistol that we have as of right now. If you guys want to copy the build down, they did make it where the weapon leveling is a lot faster so if you want to come back to this video or take a screenshot of this this is a class up that i think is the best on the gs45 it's actually kind of cool that we are getting rapid fire on pistols now so it does shoot a little bit faster but with this build it is a three shot kill it could be a two shot if you hit a headshot but this is a pretty nasty pistol if you guys want to copy it down now, for my lethal and tactical, I like using the stim shot. I'm sure everyone has told you already stim shots are very important this year, I think. So, we are going to add on the stim shot. Now, for my lethal, I really like the simtex in this game. The frag nades are really good as well. But, you know, eventually, I'm going to try everything out to make more of an updated loadout. But, as of right now, the frag or the simtex is my go-to. My field upgrade, I like running the assault pack. I think you actually get them pretty quick this year. As long as they don't nerf the time on the assault pack, I might not run scavenger this year. So assault pack is definitely going to be staying on my loadouts. I think you get them pretty quick. You're never running out of ammo. If you are, only for a little bit, but you are going to get your assault packs pretty quick. So I keep it on here. Now, for my perks, you can, you know, switch these up a little bit different. Now, for my wild card, I like to run perk greed, so I do get an extra perk here. And then for my perk one, I like, you, you have scavenger now, but I don't really run that since we do have the assault pack. So, I'm going to keep on assassin. Now, if someone's on a kill streak on the other team, they pop up on the mini map, so that's pretty cool. So, if someone's on a streak, you can take them out pretty quick, which is awesome. Now, for my perk two, I like running dexterity. Now, this is just going to help reduce the weapon motion, jumping, sliding, dive in and you also take less fall damage so that can come in handy you know you know jumping around in your gunfights and everything so that's going to be awesome here now for your perk three i like running double time so i get extra tactical sprint and you know if you watch my settings this is definitely going to help out a ton with attack sprint just being more aggressive have that aggressive play style and everything so i like to run double time and with us having these three red perks on we actually get an enforcer as the combat specialty so every time we get a kill we move faster for a brief moment and also we kind of get quick fix so every time we get a kill our health regens really quick so that's awesome and then since i am running perk greed we are run that flak jacket i think this is the best loadout right now you know until the full game drops i think these are the best perks and the best lethal and tactical and field upgrade that you can run as of right now now getting into our first weapon guys we have the xm4 now this game honestly you know with the smgs being really good fast fire rates and everything you definitely need something to keep up with those smgs fire rate wise and i think the xm4 is easily a top three weapon in this game right now and with my build it's really good at long range it's really good at up close you can play fast with it you can be slow with it it really doesn't matter it's Gonna help you get high kill games and it's easily gonna help you get your first nuke if you play the game right now for my optic though for my first attachment there is so many good options that you could choose from choose what you guys have unlocked or love but for me honestly the merlin reflex is probably my favorite site right now now you could go with the aku this is more of the mill stop from black ops cold war the merlin actually has somewhat of a like you zoomed in when aimed down sights it's kind of more zoomed in a little bit so i can see a little bit easier i like the merlin reflex but the volt is really good the merlin mini the aku again choose what you guys like for me though i am going with the merlin reflex now for the muzzle we are going to be adding on the compensator now this is going to be the only attachment that i use for recoil control and i feel like this is all you really need now the compensator is going to help with a crazy amount of vertical recoil control your weapon's not going to be jumping up as much with the xm4 having a pretty fast fire rate the weapon is going to have a lot of gun kicks so the vertical recoil control on this weapon is going to help calm that down make the weapon easier to control you are going to be a way more accurate up close long range any gunfight really so the compensator is going to be a very important attachment for this weapon here now for the barrel there is a couple of choices that you could go with depending if you want faster bull velocity better damage range or if you want both which for me i am going with the reinforced barrel now again use what you guys have unlocked which i'm sure most of you guys probably have the grain twist barrel which is good it does help with a lot of bull velocity which is awesome or the long barrel which helps with a lot of damage range now once you get to this weapon when maxing it out 
definitely put on the reinforced barrel we're getting damage range and bull velocity a good amount of both so our damage range is gonna be really nice now faster time to kill bullets are traveling further they're hitting harder and also that bull velocity is allowing our bullets to travel much faster so we are getting both with this barrel which i do recommend here now for my next attachment guys we are going to the rear grip and adding on the assault grip now i talked about this a little bit in my class setups in week one now the spread the fire speed time in this game is really not the best so i am going to be adding on the assault grip to give me that extra sprint the fire speed time and especially you know again with smgs being very dominant this year you do want to keep up with those you do want to have a faster sprint the fire speed time so again you know with the smgs being really good you do want to keep up with those the mp5 the tanto the jackal those are really good weapons in this game so having assault right you do want to have that sprint the fire speed time so definitely add on the assault grip here and then going into my final attachment we're going to the stock here and what we're going to be doing is adding on the balance stock now this is giving us movement speed and it's also giving us aim walkie movement speed so again to keep up with those smgs we do want to move fast around the map if we're going to have that aggressive play style so we are moving fast around the map anything dealing with mobility is getting increased and also when aimed down sights we are moving faster so if you do pre-aim a lot like myself when using an assault rifle this is definitely going to come in clutch and right now i do believe this is the best xm4 build now getting to weapon number two guys we have the ak-47 aka the ak-74 here now in my opinion this is the best long range weapon in the game this is the strongest weapon in the game as well anything long range related in gunfights you're definitely going to win with this class setup and with just the ak-74 you know if you play slow you're going to get a lot of kills if you're playing aggressive you're going to get a lot of kills just the ak-74 is definitely a strong weapon and i highly recommend you guys giving it a try now for my class setup though we are going to start with the reflex and i'm going to be using the volsky reflex now this is the first optic that you can unlock on the ak-47 or the ak-74 whatever you may call it here but like i said in my first class setup use what you guys like what use what you guys have unlocked as of right now but definitely once you start leveling up the ak-74 give the volsky reflex a good try the ak-47 does have some kick to it and i think the volsky is really easy to see out of and this is why i'm gonna be using it for my first attachment now, for the muzzle, we are going to be adding on the muzzle break. Now, this is one of the attachments that you're going to have to level up the weapon a good amount. Good thing the weapon XP did get boosted in this week 2 update. Now, with the muzzle break, we are getting a lot of kick reset speed and also a lot of first shot recoil control. So, with this weapon having a lot of kick to it, we are going to have that reset on the gun kick. So, that's going to help out a ton in those gun fights. And also, our first shot recoil is getting toned down. So, the weapon is more calm. The weapon's easier to control. And this is definitely a weapon attachment that you're going to want to have unlocked for the AK-74. Now, for the barrel, there's a few choices, again, that you could use. You have the grain twist barrel, the long barrel, or the reinforced barrel. Now, if you want to just have crazy damage on the AK-47, use the long barrel. It's going to be really, really good at long range. But also, I do want to have good bull velocity and everything. So, I'm going to be running the reinforced barrel. Now, this can help with a lot of damage range. It's going to help with a lot of bull velocity. Our bullets are traveling faster. They're traveling further. With the weapon being already strong, we're going to make it stronger. And also, our bullets are traveling faster. So, this is just going to be... A a really nasty combo at long range up close really that's gonna have a crazy time to kill now and this thing is super nasty now we're gonna skip the underbarrel skip the magazine and go to the rear grip next and we're gonna be adding on the assault grip now we want to run this again with the sprint the fire speed time not being the best in this game we do want to keep up with those smgs if we need to be aggressive for a little bit if we need to get into those up close personal gun fights we definitely want to shoot faster than our opponent so having the assault grip on is going to help you be more aggressive you're shooting faster off your sprint you're winning those gun fights and everything and i just think this is a must-have attachment for a majority of the assault rifles in the game as of right now and then going into my final attachment we're going to the stock here i'm gonna be adding on the balance stock again now it's just gonna help with a lot of movement speed it's gonna help with a lot of aim walkie movement speed so again with smgs being dominant we need to move fast around the map if we're gonna have that aggressive play style if we need to flank people or anything like that so we're moving faster anything dealing with mobility is getting increased and also with this being an assault rifle i do like the pream a lot so that aim walkie movement speed is just gonna come in crazy clutch and then get into our final weapon i wanted to leave the mp5 for of last weapon now one my weapon is level one on my main account it did get banned when everyone was getting banned pro players content creators casual players 
and I maxed it out on my second account, it got banned as well, which I had maxed out. So I know what MP5 class up that you need to be using here. And also the MP5 just got a buff and the Jackal got a nerf. So this is now the best SMG that you need to start using, which I'm going to show you the attachments. Kind of bear with me. I do apologize for this. But the MP5 is definitely one of the best weapons right now. Maybe even number one with it being an SMG. Now, we are going to be running the iron sights on this weapon. The MP5 just has a great iron sight. So I'm not even worried about an optic. Now, for my muzzle, though, we are going to be running the ported compensator. Now, with the weapon, it doesn't have a slow fire rate. It doesn't have a fast fire rate, though, but it does have a little bit of kick. So, adding on the ported compensator is going to help with that first shot recoil. So, the weapon isn't going to kick too much. So, our weapon is more calm when firing the weapon as soon as we start shooting. And also, we're getting a lot of vertical recoil control. So, the weapon is easier to control. And once you kind of start mastering the weapon's recoil control, you can start mapping people across the map, other assault rifles rifles lmgs marksman rifles other smgs in the game so definitely having on the ported compensator is gonna be very important for the mp5 here now, for the barrel, we are going to be running the reinforced barrel again. Now, I'm just telling you, with that damage range and bull velocity, especially with this weapon getting a buff, is just going to be a super nasty combo. Our bulls are traveling much faster and air to travel to our targets faster. Our bulls are traveling further. They're hitting harder. We're getting a faster time to kill. So, I'm telling you, with the buff on the MP5 and the reinforced barrel, is definitely going to be a problem here in Black Ops 6. I'm telling you, the, Black the MP5 might have to get nerfed, so... We'll have to see, but reinforced barrel on the MP5 getting a buff is going to be super filthy now. Now, we are going to be running a magazine here. Now, I like to run the flip mag. Now, I feel like the reload speed on the MP5 is pretty slow, so I do like to have on the flip mag. You could run the fast mag too if you don't really care about having only 25 bullets but you are getting aim down sight speed and sprint the fire speed as well and you reload very quick so depending if you want to keep 30 bullets you do reload fast we are getting aim down sight speed and sprint the fire speed but if you want more aim down sight speed and sprint the fire speed go with the fast mag 2 it's really up on to you though flip mag is really good fast mag 2 is really good i've used both don't really have a trouble with them so either one is great it's up to you now, for the rear grip, we are going to be adding on the quick draw grip here. Now, with the SMGs in this game, I think the sprint the fire speed on them are really good. I don't really think they're good on assault rifles, though. But, you know, to be more aggressive and everything, and especially with us running one of the either the mags, you know, the flip mag, we are getting aim down sight speed, sprint the fire speed, or flip mag 2, we're getting sprint the fire speed and aim down sight speed. I'm going to be running the quick draw grip just because of the aim down sight speed that you're getting here. Faster aim down sight speed, we're being more aggressive. Aim it down sights first. Shooting faster off a sprint, just being more aggressive, especially with this weapon getting a buff. It's just going to be super nasty, having that aggressive play style and everything. So definitely have this on here. And then for my final attachment, we're actually be running the balance talk once again. I think this is the best talk as of right now. Movement speed, aim walking movement speed, just moving fast around the map, being in people's faces, being aggressive. I think with the MP5, being aggressive is just going to get you a crazy amount of kills, which honestly, you know, I, I feel like the balance talk is great. But I do apologize for this class up, just kind of have to bear with me here but i do think these are the top five best class ups as of right now here in black ops 6 beta go ahead and try them out let me know in the comments if you drop any high kill games what do you think about the beta and also if you drop any nukes but guys thanks so much for watching you guys stay safe and i'll see you on the next one